Not you. Not you. No, not you. No, not you. Not you. Ah, you. You and me got a vet appointment, my little buddy. We have us a vet appointment. Oh, I know. You got to go see the doctor. We do not like that skinny stuff. I am wearing my elastic -y shorts. Now, no one's going to give me a hard time about this, right? These are my favorite shorts of all time. They're camouflage and they're elastic -y, uh, around the waistband. So I don't have to worry about no belt, no sagging. Uh, does that mean I'm getting old? And does that mean I'm officially getting so old that I don't even care what I wear out in public? <laughs> Buddy, are you going to be embarrassed to be seen with Daddy? All right, so the hardest thing about taking Buddy to anywhere, really, is he doesn't walk on a leash. He's never been leash trained. And I've never taken time to get him to learn to walk on a leash. You know, here in the country, our dogs just kind of run. They just kind of run and do their own thing. But uh, that means I have to carry him a little bit. But it is what it is. You guys uh, hang on and come along with us. We're gonna go figure out what's wrong with Buddy. I hope that no one gives me a hard time about what I'm wearing. These shorts are not the most dressy. I probably could have found something a little bit nicer. But you know what? Listen, there's something very rewarding in the fact that... No, this is... I'm serious. There's something to be said about people who don't care. They could go out in public and not really care. It, I'm not making this up. There are people that say that if you stop thinking about your hygiene or your appearance, and those could be warning signs of something. Now, listen, I still brush my teeth. I put on deodorant. I have cologne. I want to look good and smell good. I take care of my body. I exercise and work out eh, some days. But the thing is, I don't give a darn about what people think. We're here, buddy. Hey, come on, you can do it, little guy. You can do it, buddy. I can do it. If I can do it, he can do it, y'all. Come on. Why did I wear these shorts? I should not have wore these shorts. Now I'm having, I'm like second guessing myself. All right, Lester, man up, man up. All right, this is Big Thicket in New Caney. My windows are a mess. All right, let's go in here, guys, let's go. Wallet. Keys, phone. All right, we're good. All right, buddy, come on. Come on, little buddy, come on. Can you please walk like a big boy? Can you please just walk like a big boy? Come on, we're already late, come on. We're already late, let's go, come on. Come on, buddy. We're already late, little guy. Come in daddy's arms, I'll carry you, I'll carry you. Y'all bear with us here. Come on, miss, he's dragging his collar. He's like dragging, the collar's dragging alongside of us. All right, they're not quite ready for us yet. And there's other dogs in the lobby. So we're gonna let the other dog work it. There's, there's almost no one here. This is just after lunch. So there's only a few people here, but uh, they're gonna take the other dog inside the lobby or inside their office. Then we're gonna walk in with Buddy. So y'all give us a couple of minutes here. I know, Buddy. Buddy, come on. I gotta carry him again. Oh my goodness, buddy. Lord have mercy. Guy, trying to make videos here, buddy. Hi. Yeah, buddy. Tammy, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Oh my goodness, he's a big boy. Gosh, <laughs> forbid. Like oh, thank you. They're my camos. They're the elastic -y band. Thank you. Um, I'm afraid he's lost some weight since last time we were here. Do you happen to know um, if um, what he weighed first time around? Um, we can check his records. Okay. Call over there. Yeah, he was in Cleveland last time. But if you have it, that'd be great. Yeah, we think that he's lost some weight. That's why we have him brought in. And uh, he's not eating right. 
50, he's 50. I think he weighed more than that last time, which is scary. Buddy, so Buddy only weighs 50. Did you figure out what he weighed before? So he weighed 53 last time. 53, Buddy. So that's horrible. We brought him in off the streets at 53 pounds, and then I bring him in a few months later after his heartworm treatments and dewormer, and he weighs only 50. Something's definitely wrong with that. One of my favorite things to do here is to read all the little signs that they sell. Over here, I'm not lazy. I'm a cat. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Hey, you hey. remember, buddy? How's he doing? I know. He's not doing good. He keeps losing weight on us. You're not good. He's not eating, and then he throws up a lot when he does eat, and then uh, he's just, he's lost, he's losing weight. Oh, buddy, let's get your best, okay? I may have to carry him unless you want he won't walk on his leash. Can we got his weight Which, what, yeah, he's 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Okay, well, let's go to the room. Let's get a room. Oh, he likes you. Come on, Come on buddy. Maybe Come not. On, You're about to lose your phone, girl. Come on. Come here. Uh, you really never can tell about your dogs, especially like when they've had former owners. Buddy can sometimes be very skittish. And sometimes he can be the sweetest little guy ever. He just has days where it goes back and forth. What's wrong? Guys, he acts like I've beat him. And I've never laid a hand on any of my dogs. <laughs> um, I've never had to swat him or even get on to him. I don't like that he digs in the trash and he sometimes gets, you know, tears things. Hello. Well, hello. All right. Guess who we got here? All right. You know. buddy, right? Yes, ma'am. That's buddy. He, yes, he was the one that we talked about. Um, I got some scary news. He's gained, he's lost three pounds since we adopted him. And that's been in March, April, May, June. So three months, he hasn't gained any weight. He's lost weight. All right. And uh, they've already come in and did the little uh, rectal, whatever you call that, sample. Fecal exam. Fecal exam. So we'll wonder what's going on with that. Uh, but I was... Um, telling Miss Savannah that he's real skittish around me, around other dogs, and I'm just not real sure why he will not eat. And then on occasion when he does eat, he'll go up behind the tree and start throwing it up. Okay. And How then, often do you feel like he's throwing up? Uh, not very often. Only so whenever I see him, like when he really likes the meal that I feed him, sometimes I'll give him scraps. Sorry, don't, please don't judge. But if we have like something that he likes, and he eats maybe too much, then he'll go up there and throw it all up. The last thing I worry about, I know, please don't do that to me. <laughs> that sounds like a, when I'm in school. That's what I do to my kids at school. Oh uh, the last thing I want you to talk, uh, think about is, I don't want to say blockage of anything, but he does have these nervous fits where he kind of tears stuff up. He'll go into the attic and scratch up all the insulation. He'll t knock over trash cans just to spread the trash all over the place. And I don't think he's eating stuff out of the trash, but I, I, just, I don't know. All right, so what we're going to do, you know what? I'm just going to sit down. I'm trying to figure out a way to put me in selfie mode. I, hold, I hate just holding, holding the camera. Um, but he's out back. Not out back, but he's in the back. And they're doing all of the blood work, doing all of his, taking all of his inners. And uh, I think that Dr. Cochran said that she's not so concerned with the blockage because that would be throwing up and not being able to do things. And he's not coughing or <clears throat> like he's gagging. Did I just do that? So I think that we're gonna be okay as far as that goes. Let's just hope it's a kind of a parasite maybe and then of course any blood work will tell us where to go with antibiotics and, and whatnot and then she also mentioned something about you can give your dog an appetite not suppressant but an appetite the opposite of suppressant what is the opposite of a suppressant uh well they want to eat maybe an appetite you know when you want to eat. I've never heard of that. But uh, yeah, they, they have those. You're being a really sweet boy, buddy. Buddy, you're being sweet. I'm so happy you're being sweet, buddy. You're being a 
sweet boy. He is a sweet boy. I love him so much. All right, what'd you figure out? Okay, so I got a CDC and I got a chemistry. The CDC yeah. tells me about red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Okay. On these papers, if it's red, it's high. If it's blue, it's low. All these are normal. Those are red blood cells. Okay. Your white blood cells are a little bit high, but which ones? Okay. okay. When we scroll down, we see it's eosinophils, and they're very high. This type of white blood cell tends to go up in response to your parasitism or your parasites. All right, so Dr. Cochran went over all of this stuff with me. And guys, all, I love Dr. Cochran. She's my favorite vet. But sometimes I all I hear is like Charlie Brown's teacher because I don't understand. I don't understand. Here's what I do understand. This color is good. These colors, no good. Uh, Tammy told me I have to taste the dewormer because, and then Dr. Cochran said it's true. All right. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so y'all sit around tasting that stuff all the time. Well, it smells so doggone good, I thought I might try some, and it is pretty good, ain't it? It's actually pretty good, but it's all over me and Buddy. You have a handy wipe? <laughs> That's good. Okay, thank you very much. All right, you're welcome. Your shorts look good, by oh, the way. stop picking on me. <laughs> All right, we are headed out. I want to thank Dr. Cochran, Savannah, and Tammy for being so good to us, and, and all of us. They really are. They've been so good to all of us, and uh, we're blessed to have them in our life. We really are. Um, I'm also happy to hear that it's more of a parasitic issue with Buddy. Hookworms, y'all. Hookworms. Um... There were a few elevated levels of some stuff. I forgot exactly what Dr. Cochran said. And she's going all over all the blood work. Um, but uh, no, hookworms is what we're going with. And we got all the meds. So go ahead and settle down, buddy. We're going to drive home. And hey, thank y'all for watching. And we will catch you on the next video. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.